During the World Economic Forum in the Swiss town of Davos, footage of a man gatecrashing a panel and insulting WEF founder Klaus Schwab began circulating on social media. Fuck you, Klaus Schwab. As it turns out, the video was altered and there was no intruder. Social media can fuel disinformation, with deep fakes being particularly alarming. A 2023 survey showed that 50% of respondents in Switzerland have seen false or questionable content online over the course of three months. This is a six percentage point increase compared to 2021. A researcher at the University of Zurich explains that while misinformation is quite rare in traditional media, it is common on social media networks. This is why a recent report asserts that social media platforms should be central to disinformation governance. But there's good news. Research shows that Switzerland is comparatively resilient to disinformation. This is due to various factors, including the country's small size, a less polarized society, and continued high quality journalism. Disinformation has not yet caused any major problems in Switzerland, but this could change at any time. Currently, there are no specific norms in the country to protect against disinformation. While the European Union and the United States are increasingly adopting restrictions and bans on certain media and social platforms, Switzerland remains skeptical about these regulatory frameworks.